Hello everyone. Welcome to a new live streamed improv show of the Southern Art. And today is a special day. We do a film noir improvised story. During the last six day, six weeks, we had uh, six great improvisers joining us and we have done a lot of rehearsals and exercises and um, yeah, very excited what we are going to see today. Before I continue, we also like to have an audience suggestion and I like to have um, a location, an urban location somewhere in the city. So just put it in the chat. I have already a couple, ballroom, candy factory, just, just let them come in. So we are doing some film noir, uh, which started in the uh, early 1940s up to the 1950s in the US. Um, and it's black and white, shadow effects, uh, usually is played in the city with very, very disturbed characters, hard-boiled detectives, weak individuals, obsession, cynicism, sarcasm, irony, and people are subject to a fate and destiny they never can control. So that's what we are going to see today. And we have a little tweak, instead of the classical femme fatale or hardball detectives, we are very open. We have a person fatale, perhaps, um, and we uh, have um, no link with any gender in uh, our stereotypes in our improvised play. So uh, let's call in our actors. Uh, we first have Tanina. <laughs> Hi, Tanina. And Stacy. Hey. Kristen. Dume. Hi. Manasi. And finally, Sam. Okay, so we have a cast basically from three continents, yeah, from North America to Europe to India. So much exciting. So let's have a look to the suggestions. Uh, oh, we have a lot. We have a shoe shop, a poker club. Um, thanks, Ari. The zoo, that came from Louise, a candy factory from Willem, and a ballroom. So, and a soap factory from Desi. So, what would you like? Any suggestions? Shoe shop. The shoe shop. Yeah, thank you, Dime. Okay. Murder in the shoe shop. Enjoy. I'm so restless. I can't stand it here. I just want to get out. I want to get out of this town and I want to move to the city. I could surely see that every day on your face. And I worry a lot. I'm just too big. I'm just too big of a star. Or I could be a star for this little tiny place, you know? It's not the. It's not nice, but I've just got a destiny that's bigger than this. Totally, Oscar. I, I believe in you, you know? I just pity, I don't want to see you being an accountant in this shoe shop. For how long are you going to do this? I really wish we have a stable life. We both can maybe go to a bigger city, work together. They told me our parents. So only our parents were still alive. Then they would be, they could take care of the shop and we could move away. We'd be free. Yeah. But you know, I really, I really feel that the time is right. We, we must take the call. We, we need to grow our family legacy. And I think it's only both of us for our kids. We just can't, you know, step down. Just living a good should, life. You're saying we should move to the city and open up our own shop? That... Yes. That would take a lot of money. I know, but bigger opportunities lie there. 
I know you are such a hard worker and there isn't a day where you have stopped working and taking on any responsibility. You know, kids look up to you. They always say that dad is always around whenever we need. And I'm sure if we can put in this much for our own work, it will be wonder. It will be really big. Think. I don't know. I had, this family life is just so boring. I thought I'd be doing something much more exciting by now. I know you, you can do much better for your toes. You can, you can even make shoes for people working in movies or working for like making shoes for celebrities. You I, have the skill, Oscar. That's you. You're always you're always so willing to settle for a secondhand dream. That's I don't want to make shoes for celebrities. I want to be the celebrity who's getting shoes made for them. Ever since we were kids. I think we need to go step by step. Yeah? Let me just make a nice drink for you. Oh, Amy, we've been up on all the orders today. We're making so much money on our shoes. We just got a new shipment out from Paris. Hello, oh. they, want, they want a thousand orders. We're making a lot of money, but not enough. We need more designers. Hey, are you there? Yes, you come in. Listen, listen, Eddie, it's a bit, it's a bit confusing. So the problem is that we don't have the capabilities of delivering so much, right? We need to grow steadily. I, I, I don't know, it's just, I think it's been too fast. I don't know. Well, you know, you've always been my girl and I, I just want the best for you. If we don't be aggressive, our competition's gonna beat us. I want yeah. us to be wealthy. I want you to have everything. I want us to move to Paris. We're not mm. gonna get there unless we get our shoe people. You're right. I don't know. I might, I might come up with something. You always been so supportive. So I, I think, yeah, I'll support you in that as well. Any, we're gonna grow big. I know that. Well, you can't be nice if you're if you're too nice. You can't grow big. You got to get more aggressive. You gotta tell these people if they're bad, they're bad, and they gotta speed up production. That's true. That's true. You're so wise. You're so wise. I'm gonna find the suppliers. I'm gonna find them. take to get a drink around here. Jeez. This city. I thought I'd be excited to move here. I thought it would be start of a, something big for me, but ever since I got here, I'm just clamoring for, for work and for opportunities and for drinks. Nobody, nobody pays me any attention. Nobody pays me any minds. But I deserve respect. I deserve attention and fame. Everybody in this flea bag bar seems like they're so preoccupied. I don't understand what, what else is going on around here, but uh, something. Maybe I want to get in on it. Maybe that's the way to get into the action. 
Maybe I need to make some powerful connections. Wow. I did hear about this new shoe designer. She's going to be arriving to my office right now. Yes, I heard she makes beautiful satin shoes from Paris. Oh, there she is. She's at her door. Come on in, sweetheart. Well, I hope she's all who she says she is. I know she's kind of cheap, but I'm sure we're going to get some good news from her. Well, let me see my partner. Come in. I heard you talking about needing designers for shoes. I've got shoes in my blood. Yes, but we are looking for a lot of an international brand. You're competing with shoes from Paris and Italy. Let's see yours. I mean, I'm going to have to ask for, for a cheaper markdown because you're new. Whatever you want. I tell you this, I'm hungry. I need to distinguish myself in this city. I need to I need to make some powerful connections or something. And, I, and I'm willing to design some beautiful shoes. I, my family, my parents, my, my everybody in my family who makes shoes, beautiful shoes. Well, I do have a job for you. We do have a client who is an, heir, an heiress on 42nd Street and around, around Radio City. And she's a very famous rockette dancer. And she only needs the best. I mean, she breaks through heels like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to send you on a job for her. And if she's happy, and you do what she wants, then all will be good. But it's not gonna be easy because she's very particular about her feet. She has very petite toes that get very, very callous. And if you don't give her the softest shoes, she's just gonna want somebody else. So I'm going to make the call to her and um, I'll send you over. So I want you to there at before the show at noon and I'll call and I want to hear that that you have done everything for her. And if I if, if I if she doesn't like it, then well, well, we'll hope for the best. Great. This is exactly the kind of work I was looking for. I was more than up to this kind of task. But what I needed to make sure was that I used this connection and that I used it to make other connections. Mm -hmm. And from there, I got famous because it's not just about shoes. Hello, ma'am. So you're the new girl, right? I'm new, that's for sure. I'm here to make you some shoes, shoes like you, you wouldn't believe. No, I'm actually working with your employee. I'm her sister. I'm supposed to provide her with people. I, I don't understand how you actually got into this, but now I hope you don't screw, okay? Because you, screw up. you know the client. You know the client, a very important client, right? I don't know. I, I've heard. I've heard of. I've heard of her work, but uh, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm mostly here just because I want to make some important connections. You seem like somebody who knows how to make good connections. Okay. Okay. So uh, you can knock the door. I'm gonna watch you out. Knock. knock. Hmm. This is a fancy place. I, maybe they can't hear me inside of it. Is we anybody know. there? Hmm. That's very confusing. Shall we? I don't know what, what we could do in principle. No. Hey! 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 Who's in there? We're here, we're here to make some shoes. I've come to collect my money. I heard I could get it from here. Uh, definitely not from us, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we don't have anything to do with that. They told me head to the store on 47th Street. There'd be two broads in there. I demand my money. They pay me and I get out of here. No way. If you want shoes, that's the right place. I if want you money. Want shoes, walk away. I want money. Don't think I'm joking around. 
I'm not joking around here. Look at this piece I've got right here. I'm not afraid to use this. Hey. Ooh. Hey, there's no need to get violent like that. If you if you're gonna pull out a gun, don't think the room. Hey, I don't want to get violent here, ladies. It's up to you here. Well, you're I'm getting annoyed. Just gonna annoyed. put this away. Just, just calm down, okay? We're waiting for an important client. I didn't, really don't like your face around. Just go and get my money. We don't have your money. We're here to make shoes. I'm gonna count to five. And if I don't get my money at five, I'm gonna start shooting. I have out of your mind, guy. What, what's wrong with you? Just five. I don't have the money. Four. I don't have. I, I can't believe it's three. On. I'm sorry, but no, 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 no. Two. One. Oh. The gun, the gun back. Thank God. Ah. Oh, helpful. Okay. Shit. Is he okay? I don't think so. It was not my intention for sure. I think he's dead. Uh, okay, wait. So the client is going to come any minute and we're here standing with the dead body. Right. We got to get rid of it. Not good. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. You. What is outside my apartment? I was expecting shoes and. <gasps> Ma'am, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, it's fine. My partner is coming any moment. Uh, she's a bit busy, so she just had to drop something off. Um, we dropped something off, right? We did drop. We just we. <clears throat> There's a misunderstanding here. We didn't do. We didn't do anything. We're, we're just here to make you some shoes. I I was expecting shoes, but I didn't expect a dead body. Well, we don't criminals. I. I, I, I my family you? cannot find out about this. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? I I want this body gone. I don't want to get in charge of the cops. I'm famous around town. Lady, don't worry. So uh, what's going to happen is uh, we deal with the person, a body uh, here, and um, we actually make the shoes half price for you. The yes. best shoes. <laughs> it's Incredible good. shoes. Yeah, of course. We have we'll the best specialists here. Well, I want all the shoes for free. I know that you can do it for me. Okay. okay. I want the best. I want the... $20,000 shoes, and I want them for free. Bring them back and clear up this mess. Bring up this, this bunch of sloppy mess on my, I want this cleaned up. I'm going out back to my show, and when I come back, I expect a nice pair of shoes and this mess to be gone. Clean them up I, and get rid of them. Oh, this is stinking. Oh, I'm leaving. <clears throat> Okay. Now, we gotta do something now. Let's take it down to the harbor. If Fanny figures out, oh my God, she's gonna kill me. So that's all because of you. That's all because of you. Not because of me. I had nothing to do with this. But that's some random. I mean, look, this it's city is rotten day. to the core. It's your first day, and we're in such a mess. Go and clean it, please. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Amy. We had a hell of a time taking care of that body. It was heavy and there were people around who could potentially see us, but we found a way through the back of the building. And I think that we managed to cover our tails. We weighed it down with stones and we put it in the harbor. Hopefully nobody ever finds it, it never washes up. Also, I hope that nobody squeals. We've got a lot of shoes to make for that. Nice shoes. Nice store. 
Halloween. Detective Rathers, are you the dame that runs this place? I run this place. What of it? Did you hear the gunshots yesterday afternoon? The whole neighborhood heard the gunshots. Did you? What if I did? Then you know where the body is too, don't you? No, I didn't say anything about a body, sir. You think they were shooting at pigeons? Wouldn't surprise me in this crazy city. But what were you doing yesterday afternoon? Minded my business, something you should do too. I hear the lady with all the money was here yesterday afternoon. She has a different story to tell. Oh, she came to, listen, I didn't have anything to do with it. It was just, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think you know, who knows who did it. If I tell you, Oh, my. So I'm going to make some very big enemies. Well, you got two choices. Big enemies, or you come downtown with me. Now. I guess I'm going to have to tell you. I'm it listening. Was, um, it was... It was this, the, the, big, the big boss over here, the owner, her assistant and I, were, we were on a job for some actress and uh, she killed him. It wasn't me. Can I get that in writing? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you, if you just don't tell my family, my family finds out, I mean, I'm supposed to be just uh, helping run the family shoe store, but somehow I got hooked up to some real bad people. I'm a wholesome person, I swear. Okay. Would you happen to know where I can find her? She's in the back. I'll pretend okay. um, I never met you. Finally arrived. Where's my new assistant? I need to have a problem. So um, we went to Sandy's house, and um, there was this man trying to. I don't know what was on his mind, but he he just came there. He was something like a robber, and uh, so he he pointed a gun at me, and I I used the gun that you gave me for my own protection, right? I, I, it, it was nothing and, but thank Did you. Did you leave any no. evidence? I don't think so, except that Sandy saw us. So now we need to make shoes for her for free. Oh. Or maybe make her silent. Take care of shoes. I'll, but we gotta take care of it. If you left anything in that apartment, your fingerprints, anything you're gonna get, Get arrested. I, I can't see this happening to you. But I wasn't alone there, right? So I wasn't alone. I was with Oscar, meaning that in principle, nobody knows whether it was me or Oscar. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think Oscar was the first person Sandy saw. So actually, it sounds much more plausible that Oscar is responsible for it. Hmm. Well, how is she going to change? How are we going to change her mind? She needs to get drunk and have a nice conversation with somebody, maybe you, maybe me, possibly me. And then 
if she's willing to cooperate, <laughs> maybe she can talk to the dick and tell him that everything is okay and that um, there's this new person from the countryside who didn't know in when, what they wanted and who just wanted to get more money was responsible for the murder, right? Well, I think you should go, but I think I'll pack, pack an extra gun or something. I Just so you're safe. I mean, I don't think I think she should see me. I think you should go and, and drop off and I'll, and I'll hide behind the corner while you're giving the delivery. Just, just to make sure you're safe. You're my sister. I don't want anything to happen to you. This lady, she is, she's a high time tell client and she's, she doesn't care what she does to anybody. She's just brutal. Uh, you know, uh, let's go and see her and, 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 and see what we just be careful. I'm going to, I'm going to be by the side and you make the transaction. I'm giving you the cheapest shoe. She doesn't deserve anything. So let's go. Oscar. What's what's happening? We we are in a soup, and you know, I can I can see hordes of people around you every time you're being questioned. What are you What are you following me now? Now you're just now you're just stalking me. It's look, you're the one who wanted to, us to bring our shoe business to the city. It was the biggest mistake I ever made. Listening to you. Oscar, as your elder brother, I always wanted you to just, you know, have a stable and a very successful life, but it does not mean that you you can't even sense trouble. I Couldn't you feel that in your gut things were not ro going right? What did you want me to do? You wanted to make it here in the city. You have this pack up. It costs money to do that. You have to find a thing. You have to get in big. You have to have connections. And you don't do that without a little trouble. Little trouble? Who's that? I'm not sure. Let me just quickly go and check. Couldn't be good, whoever this was. Hi there. I am Joe, the inspector. I have got to know that Oscar, there is a complaint that's been lodged that you were at the shop at the street 47 where there was a murder that took place. A little bit detail, I want to talk about that. I, I, talk, I told the other inspector I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I didn't have anything to do with it. It was those two shoe broads, other shoe broads. Out of the two, I got to have a witness saying that he saw you coming out of that of that shop. The two of you, I have the photograph clicked with me. I have this phone which gives me the details of the people that I saw and one was you. What were you doing in that shop with that? Making some shoes, making some shoes, which is, this is America. I should be free to make shoes without somehow it becoming a criminal incident, but here we are. Making some shoes along with some floating bodies in your hand. That's interesting. It wasn't, a, the, the guy was, the guy was already dead and I didn't shoot him. I had nothing to do with it. I was just, just helping clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. Oh, so who was he that you were trying to clean up? I don't know. The guy shows up, he waves a gun around. I have nothing to do with it. Inspector Joe, just why don't you tell him, Oscar, that it wasn't you. It was that other other, other lady, Anne, or whatever her name was, you were telling me, right? Why don't you tell him? I did. He's not listening. Mm hmm All right. I already told the other detective, listen. Unless you've got something that you need to bring me downtown for, like some new evidence. Well, you do have some new evidence. Well, right. unless you are arresting me, I'm going to ask you to leave. Okay. There's a small piece of advice that I would like to give you. Listen, yeah. Oscar, don't run away. Before things settle down, do not leave the place, okay? 
because mm. things are still not clear. Yeah. I'll see you around. See you around. So it was just like I told you, detective. I was walking my dog and I stumbled across this mound of dirt and I thought to myself, that looks very weird. I walk here a lot and I've never seen that mound of dirt before. So I go over and what do I see? I see a pair of shoes sticking out the dirt. So then I start digging and I realize it's a body. It's just over the hill here. Let me show you. Were the shoes that were sticking out, were they um, high priced upscale shoes? See, I don't know much about shoes, but now that you mention it, there were quite fancy shoes. Uh, All right, here, we've, we've arrived at the body. All right, take a look, detective. What do you think? He's dead, oh. he's dead, right? Oh yeah, but those are very expensive shoes. They do look expensive. He's been shot three times. Gonna have to help me move the body. Uh, it looks like it's washed up on the shoreline here. Um, I don't wanna get my feet wet. Okay, I'll stand on the water. You stand over on the other side by the sand. All right. Come on, lift. Lift. Whoa. Okay. All right. We're not done. Come on, to the car, the back of my car. Come on. Are you sure this is right, officer? I mean, you're the detective. Don't ask questions. Just lift. Come on, let's go. Okay, drop it in the trunk. Well, we appreciate your help and we appreciate the information and uh, you have a good day. All right, my pleasure. I'm here. I'm gonna tell you everything. I'm really scared, I need you now. I, I, I'm really afraid that someone's going to try to kill me. They, they murdered somebody right in my house. I'll tell you everything. I, I promise to go along with everything you say. Mm-hmm. Now what's the next step? How are we gonna catch this? How are we gonna catch these ladies? They're 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 running a criminal business. They're killing people and they're bringing them to my apartment. All right. Uh, what was your name? If you tell me that again. Oh, I, I'm nobody. I don't want it to be in anything that I, I'm. If I if people know who I am, I'm going to be in very much trouble. I, I just I just just say my name is Sarah. Okay, calm down. I already see that things are not working well. There's too much of complication. The only way to go about it is that whatever you have seen, just just tell me straight. No mincing of words, no mincing of thoughts. Whatever you know, just let me know straight. Well, I was getting delivery to sh for some shoes for my apartment and then Two two women arrived and then and, and then I saw on the ground was a dead body bleeding and then and then they left and 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 there was traces of blood still left the body was gone later but the blood was still there and I don't want to be accused of a murder so that's why I'm here and I know I know that I I wear the shoe shop that they I bought my shoe so I I, I feel that you should know. Great. I have taken all the details. Can you give me a little more details about the two people that you saw and what happened post that? When, like, did you leave? Were you there? What happened? It all happened so fast. I, I, I know uh, one girl had glasses and, and red hair and uh, 
and I also know that the shop owners, it's called the Lane Sisters, and and I and though I I didn't know them personally, I I thought they were very good upscale clientele, and well, I, I you have to find these people. I, I'm come to my apartment. There's blood all over the place, and and I didn't do anything. I, I swear I didn't do anything. Don't worry. If you are not involved, nothing will happen to you. I think I will have to go, and I know who those two ladies are. And I'm gonna just go and bring them over, and then gonna talk to them directly. And thank you so much thank for giving me so all these details. Yeah. Oh, that makes me feel so much more confident. That's such a nice detective like you taking care of me. Don't worry. You can leave now. Look, we're in hot water. Cops are sniffing around me. It's a lot of heat. Pointing fingers. Did you talk to somebody? Did you say something? I, I didn't have a choice, you know? They they had all kinds of evidence and I, I didn't know what to do. So here I am. Let's figure out what we're going to do. And what did you say exactly? I don't know what I do, which is that we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. The guy was monkeying around with the gun, but the gun went okay. off, and then we cleaned up the mess. Mm hmm And then I didn't shoot him. You know what I think? Now we need to close the case. So I think we need to deal with Sanders first. Um, this time, I'm sorry, you were not the one making the shoes because I really want them to be high quality. So I, I don't, I don't trust you yet. But I really want you to deliver the shoes and apologize, okay? I guess. I mean, fine. Just promise me that you're going to help. We're going to keep each other's backs and secrets. And we're not going to, not going to. Yeah. Okay. I'll Here, I'm going to keep your secrets, but please do the same because if I find out. If I find out that you framed me or something like that, you're going to regret it, okay? No, I wouldn't. I'm loyal. Okay, I'm going to deliver the shoes. Little did she know that I put a gun in one of the shoes. I brought the shoes. Where is, where is this person? Oh, oh. Hide behind the, you're hiding behind the couch, right? Oh, she's coming, I see her. I, do you want, I see you, do you want the shoes? What's, just supposed to deliver them. Yeah, here, put, put the shoes over here. Okay. Oh, thank you. Attack him. All right. Over here, you are here. Come on, come on, detective. Did you hear the conversation? Can oh, be loud and clear. Let's just face them. I heard the conversation, Joe. Yeah. So, Oscar, you are, you are the little kid who is running around the block, not even giving any facts anywhere. Yeah. Yes. So what? What's what's the problem? Can I go? Yeah, I was just delivering some shoes. And I have this big packet with a pistol in it and a shoe. What? That's yeah. not mine. I'm innocent. I'm telling you. You tried to kill me. No. I just want. I didn't trust you. I got backup. I got protection. Yeah. Now pay the price. I'm gonna go down for this. All right, it's coffee. time that you stop faking and fooling all of us around, okay? Yeah. It's Fair time enough. that you move on. Leave everything. If you have every, anything in your pocket, just leave it out. Okay. This is not. This is not justice. Justice will be served. Oh. Yeah, 
Thank you for taking care of me, Sergeant. Oh, I will be so safe now. I hope we'll have a nice time together sometime. Maybe we can go out to dinner sometime. All right, but right now I have to just drop her to the right place. And all the best with your life. See you then. Bye. Turns out I got famous after all for my shoemaking in prison. The real bum job, real, real bum job they, they did me. They, they framed me, they set me up, and all they needed was that dumb gun, and I was a goner. But that's how it is in a corrupt city. <sighs> corrupt justice. And scene. So that was our improvised film noir. Come on, all back. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> well done. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, justice is not fair all the time. And uh, next week at Friday, uh, first Friday in May, same hour, we're back again with another improvised uh, story. And um, yeah, who knows what will happen then. And uh, yeah, follow the sudden note. We will uh, announce a lot of more shows in the future, uh, film noir or something else. And uh, yeah, hope that you will um, join us again very soon. And um, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>